Princess Kate will not repeat the mistakes of the late Queen before the start of the royal tour. The Princess of Wales and the royal family are preparing for a series of tours over the next two years. Welcome, to Royal Expert, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. Princess Kate will not repeat the mistakes of the late Queen before the start of the royal tour. The Princess of Wales and the royal family are preparing for a series of tours over the next two years. It is believed that King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William and the Princess of Wales are preparing themselves for two years of touring in a bid to keep the Commonwealth intact. The Blitzkrieg follows the absence of royal tours following the death of Queen Elizabeth II last year and Charles's coronation this year. Speaking to Palace Confidential, Charlotte Griffiths, the Mail on Sunday's editor-at-large, said Kate wouldn't make the same mistakes as the late Queen when it came to touring. Miss Griffiths said Kate would keep her time on overseas trips to a minimum. The Princess of Wales is careful not to disturb the lives of her three children. The royal expert said Kate learned the lessons of the late Queen. Kate is going to take her life but she probably won't stay for more than three or four days at a time, she explained. Miss Griffiths continued, she puts her children first and never wants to disrupt the classroom. She wants them to live as normal a life as possible, and not do what Charles had to live as a little boy who didn't see his mum for six months at a time because she left. It could be argued that the Queen has not done a good job of balancing royal and family tours. Charles was deeply affected by his separation from his mother. Tours are expected to begin in September, as William travels to New York to launch the Earthshot Prize. William will travel to Singapore in the fall with the Princess of Wales for the third annual Earthshot Awards. Rebecca English, editor-in-chief of the Royal Daily Mail, confirmed that Wales are keen to limit their trips to between five and seven days for the sake of their young children. Royal expert Jenny Bond echoed this, saying OK. I think the days of long rides of children being left to be cared for by nannies, are over. By and large, I think school holidays will be respected, and future rides will be short and meanwhile, the King and Queen have planned two trips, one of which is expected to be to Kenya, and since his accession, the King has only made one state visit, to Germany in March. He was scheduled to visit France at the same time, but that was cancelled due to the riots in Paris. Also, the Prince and Princess of Wales are currently enjoying a break from their public roles to spend time with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis during their summer school holidays. So far this year William has carried out 54 solo engagements, Kate has carried out 45 and the couple have engaged in 40 engagements, according to the latest figures on Gertz Royal's website. Royal commentator Daniela Elza said the numbers are on track to be similar to those in 2019 when their children were all under seven and they should strive to increase their workload. Thanks for watching till the end.